All right, welcome to the table. So we'll just go through as if I'm sitting face to face with you. And I'm just going to take a notepad and we can just draw a few things up together and go through it. And this is how I really like to get to know people and just chit chat and have a good environment outside and just yeah, relax and enjoy ourselves. It gives you more sort of space to be able to create and also look into the future without you know, being too introverted sitting inside in a work environment. It's just a good good place to be. Hope the wind doesn't cut the sound too much. There's a lovely breeze coming from the northeast at the moment. Now so we're now looking at module the video this is video number one getting started anywhere on the planet. So the way I I got started in Sydney was with window cleaning for uh, just for high rise buildings and smaller commercial buildings as well and residential buildings. So we just basically, it was a talent that I picked up really quickly. I learned how to use the equipment. This is a very common piece of gear for cleaning windows. You just squeeze the glass down with it. And if the glass is nice and clean, you get a beautiful reflection of the city coming through behind it. So what I chose was window cleaning and I'm going to give you a lot more examples of how we use the window cleaning um, to grow the foundation of our company. But you can also look at this like any sort of a product that you can deliver in mass a large amount of and I want to give you a couple of examples here like one could be okay let's go really gross we'll just call it toilet cleaning okay and that was what I imagined when I first came to Sydney I, I got introduced to the cleaning business by some Korean guys and these the Koreans just love to clean they just they play cards they play poker and they talk about cleaning and they brag about the biggest cleaning contracts and I found the culture really interesting but I found out also more so how much of a business cleaning is it's not just where you go and clean toilets and you get paid 15 bucks an hour to clean a toilet there's a lot about building a business of a large different a large clientele Cleaning a lot of um, a lot of bathrooms, of course, a lot of toilets, a lot of office spaces, and then the contract value of that can be actually astronomical. Can be really, really big, and it's physical work. So you're actually doing something, you're producing something, you're exchanging something with a client, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just do a a picture here. Not too bad. So here's my picture of a toilet. You see it's a nice shiny clean toilet, all right? So we've got five million people in Sydney. So, you know, probably the average household is like five per household. So there's probably a million toilets, a million bathrooms in this city. Ample toilets to clean up. Another example I'd like to give, which I, which my, my brother-in-law came up with this the other day, and it's just like brilliant. And if you had a, like a, a little coffee shop or something like that that you wanted to run and just make a really easy uh, fast food this would be like the best this would be the easiest fast food you could ever do and if you can figure out what it is so okay it's not a hot dog alright what this is is a roast lamb roll you've got a fresh bread roll and you've got sliced hot lamb inside it and you've got a bit of gravy okay so a gravy roll even in the summertime when you're hungry a hot gravy roll is just like awesome it fills the gap and you want to eat it so pretty well you could set up a little coffee shop anywhere sell some coffee sell some cold drinks and you could set up like you can buy from Aldi a lamb roast for I don't know, 15 bucks or something like that. And from that lamb roast, you can slice it up. You can bring it along, it's still hot. You can slice it up on fresh bread rolls. You're probably going to make about 50 bread rolls out of that. And you can sell each one for like $4.50. Do the math, okay? It's like, it's, it's a couple hundred bucks, easy. I reckon you're going to get 200, 300% markup on these gravy rolls. 
So depending on the location, how much you're paying for the location also does factor a lot into that. But that's what we're going to look at. So I'm just going to give you two, two examples. One is to clean a toilet. That's a service. And the other one is a gravy lamb roll. Okay. So you can choose whatever product that you like. And I suggest to get something that you, you kind of, you've got a good affinity for it. You feel good about the product and you know you can produce a good one because you want to be able to produce a lot of it. And, um, and the main point about choosing a product is you've got to be able to scale it. Okay. So if you're really happy having a florist shop and you just want to give people flowers and you like to see them smile and you, you don't really want to make a lot of money, you're happy to make a general income from that and you really enjoy that as a life a life purpose to give people flowers and see them smile that's totally fine um, and I wouldn't criticize anyone for doing that but if you want to be an entrepreneur well then you're looking at having you know branches florists around the city or gravy roll branches around the city or a whole client base of people around the city that need their toilets cleaned on a regular basis so is it scalable? Scalable. Okay, so is it scalable? And I'd say both of those, the toilet and the gravy roll are scalable. So let's tick it off. All right. So if you want to be certain about it, you can always just survey. You know, and it doesn't take long to survey. You can just go. Survey just means you ask people. So you can make up some questions. And you can walk around town and just say, you know, is there any type of service that you feel you need on a weekly basis? And people will give you, they'll give you an answer. They'll say, yeah, I'd like to have my toilet cleaned. I'd like to have my kitchen cleaned. I'd like to have the car washed, you know. They'll have these basics that they like to have done. And they will give you a, like a, a flash answer and you start to see something pretty in common. So that's a really good way to choose a product. Just survey for it and find out what's needed and wanted in your city. You might be really surprised. It might be like we want, I don't know, more ashtrays or we want um, clean tissue boxes. I'm not sure. Or garbage bins to get rid of the tissue boxes. But the survey will tell you. So, so number one, you've got a product. Number two, is it scalable? Number three, is it wanted? All right. So you, if you're selling hot gravy rolls in the Bahamas, I don't know whether they'd like it down there they probably like a something a cool fresh salad sandwich but they might like a gravy roll they might go wow this is actually exactly what i feel like and it's just because it's hot weather it doesn't mean that you wouldn't have a hot dinner as well okay now an easy thing to do is just to practice the delivery of the product so if you want to clean a toilet you know just just go to your mum's house and clean the toilet and just practice it and make up a little kit. You can even go on YouTube and just research how do you clean a toilet. It'll tell you the outside, the inside, how to rinse it, how to get it so it's sparkling after so you haven't got residual detergent, how to get it, how to protect your hands of course so you're not getting the 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 um the sewer, the raw sewer on your hands. You don't want to have that. So just give yourself a test run clean a toilet or clean a bathroom and see how long it, it takes to clean it and then you've got a product so you're starting to get more more certain about it and if you think okay good we can clean toilets I'm going to clean my mum's toilet it just took me 20 minutes to clean the toilet it's spotless she came in she gave me a pass she said good job thank you George the toilet is perfect can you please come back each week and do that for me I'd be like sure mum I'll definitely do that for you when you cook me a lamb roast on the weekend so now you've got a product and you're pretty certain about it the next thing that you want to do is this is the secret weapon that I was talking about it really is the foundation of how I built our company okay so what we did we had a very very simple formula just on this one here, I'm going to use the back end of it. The breeze is beautiful. It actually is really hot in Sydney and this breeze is so nice. So this is what we used to do once a week. We had a blueprint made up. And it was just an A4 sheet of paper 
divided into three. And we were building, what we were building, we were building a Saturday window cleaning service. So at the top, Saturday window cleaning. I had a really simple headline, just like this. And I can give you the downloadable for that as well. Um, and if you want to request that, there's a download uh, button at the bottom of here you get a there's a few downloads in there which we're going to talk about and you can take those as well but if you want a template to work off i'll give you one and you can design your own and just do whatever you want with that but we were working on building up the saturday window cleaning and i had a simple flyer and then i had a photo it wasn't even a photo it was just a it was just a picture of There's a picture of one of our window cleaners. It's actually, it was a picture of me. We had a picture of me just cleaning the window, and you can see the squeegee goes, zzz, gets the squeegee there, and it gives a nice curve. So I then gave this picture. I got a photo. We drew it out. We then gave it to my friend, because his wife is a graphic designer, and lo and behold, it came back with a picture of my friend not me on the image and he became the face of townview window cleaning so i didn't mind that and uh dennis was kind of kind of cool he had the look but it was 100 dennis she's just in love with her husband and she just changed it to dennis and so he became the face of townview so what we would do each week and it's kind of cool morning and myself we just go for a walk to the quick copy then we just get have this pre-printed we stick it in a photocopier We'd run out about 200 copies. We then go to the guillotine and we slice them up into piles of brochures. And we would then have stacks of one third page brochures ready to go. Super simple. And we then walk around the city to the buildings that we wanted to do work on. And I tell you, when you've got a building, a high rise building, That looks like this. Okay, that's a really simple blueprint of a high-rise building. We've got there about 10 floors of building, could be more, could be... We have one we're looking after in the city, which is actually 54 floors. It was awesome. And we clean the individual windows. They're all individually owned apartments. Now, every floor, every single floor from the ground where they start above the car park, all the way up to about level 40, were an exact blueprint. We had a little one bedroom apartment, we had a two bedroom, we had a two bedroom, a two bedroom, a one bedroom, a two, a one, and then we had like a three bedroom on the, on the corner. So one, two, 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 one, two, one. So each floor had this blueprint going across the top of it. And it was super easy because we could actually, once we knew the blueprint of every floor, we could pre-price the window cleaning for each of these floors. And we just had a spreadsheet set up. And we would then go through, through here. So this is actually literally the blueprint of that building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buildings. And level 10 to level 40 were identical layout all the way. Above there, I got into some more luxury ones and we cracked the code on those as well and we charged more of course but here you got 30 times 10 apartments there's 300 potential customers in that building and believe me once we dropped these in the into the letter boxes we were lucky enough to get access to the letter boxes on the ground floor we dropped this in every single apartment block we generally go one week we put them in, the second week we put them in again, and the third week we do a little magical trick. We invested a little bit more. We put a, a magnet with well, pretty well the same logo on there, about this big, a little magnet that would drop into all the letterboxes, and it would give them a long term 
promotional item that they'd use it they'd sit it on their fridge they'd stick it on the dryer they stick it in all sorts of places and having flies out one week flies out another week and then a magnet out on that building we just get bookings 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 would fill up and we generally leave the promotion alone on that building for about three months and then three months later we'd hit it again and then three months later we hit it again and continually and constantly our client base for this building was building up more and more and more and more until we had a large portion of this building really filling up and we're servicing them on a continual basis so just one building has had a repeat revenue serviceability like it was just fantastic and we still look after that building today and you can imagine this you look at the city you look at new york city you look at kaohsiung city taipei city shanghai paris new york any city major capital or just a small one there are high rises all over it and each of these have a blueprint and a potential for a repetitive type business how many apartments were there in this building i think there's about 390 apartments with all the floors together that means at least 390 bathrooms so that's how many toilets that you'll be able to clean if you've got a flow of people coming out of here a large population i'm sure you could sell a lot of lamb gravy rolls to these guys as well if they started to get used to you being around a little corner coffee shop just at the base of here especially if you had three or four or half a dozen of these high-rise buildings around there and they knew where to come and get the gravy roll they wouldn't be able to resist it as long as you kept it fresh and spot on on point they'd be coming all the time so looking after this group and growing it and servicing it this is the first formula step in regard to building a client base and in video two i'm going to tell you show you how to actually consolidate that client base because all sorts of things happen in there you never know who you're going to meet within that client base especially some of the executive top floors they're they're committee members on the building they're associated with other buildings and you get all sorts of recommendations all you've got to do is do a great job yeah we um we were in the mail room one night and a gentleman walked in he's like hello hello what's all this propaganda while we were putting out the brochure and he took it and uh anyway it was the lord mayor for sydney and we ended up cleaning his apartment and he was totally cool so don't be scared if people complain about the junk mail or they've got the letter on their box junk mail just don't put it in whatever respect their privacy but people want to hear about you do not underestimate the power of a small piece of paper and the future is getting more paperless but this little item here will make a lot of continued revenue for you and introduce business and refer to business just by passing it out and putting it in a letterbox it's quite powerful do not underestimate it we'll talk about different types of promotional of course you've got the internet facebook is getting more and more powerful targeted uh, promotion and uh, newsletters and all types of things so but that was the first one i want to show you because it was the foundation of our company and we grew from there and here i am i was sitting at my warehouse that I love so much I'm so proud of and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the second video we'll talk some more cheers